7 News at 9. Many mailing services are overloaded with customers' packages that are being shipped for Christmas. Fox 47's Comrie Bray spoke with two major shipping agencies on what you should know ahead of the holiday. Well, if you want those items delivered by Christmas, shipping experts say you need to go and ship them now. There are a few other suggestions they have that you should know. Tis the season. I just wanted to make sure that I got there um, by Christmas time. A goal for many gifters around the holiday as online shopping increases and less people hand delivering gifts. Well, I'm trying to get a gift to my cousin who lives in Spain. Post office lines stretch all the way to the front door while busy UPS staff are packaging holiday gifts. We anticipate a very busy season. Even mailmen are filling the larger delivery workload. Every day you're going out with a full truck. Well, we've had Christmas level volumes the entire year. But before those packages even make it to delivery, there are some things you should know as shipping agencies are flooded with more demand. Anything shipped before or by the 15th of December has a good chance to make it there by 20th or 21st of December. UPS recommends customers let the store handle their items for packaging and shipping because if something were to happen to their items, the customer would be reimbursed. And they have suggestions for people who want to ship holiday treats. Homemade cookies are the best, um, but uh, yeah, they're not too, too fragile, so just put a little bit of bubble wrap around it to absorb the vibration and uh, it'll be just fine. But what are the best times to come and ship packages? Our most busiest times are usually right first thing in the morning. A lot of people come into the post office right before they go to work, so we find that our lines in the morning are pretty long. About an hour into the morning is a really good time to come in. The lines are a little shorter. And a quicker way to get in and out the post office is by checking out yourself. There's never usually much of a line at the self-service kiosk, so we try to move people over there just because it'll be faster. And here's a piece of advice from someone delivering an expected gift to your home. Keep the lights on and make access to the mailboxes. Uh, safe and accessible for us. It's all about giving to others with security. In Rochester, Kamaria Bray, back to you.